Hey guys, John V here from Phone Reno. You're watching our video review of the Supertooth Disco 2 Bluetooth speaker. It's actually the successor to last year's model, the Supertooth Disco. It's going to be available this fall, and it's nice that it's sporting the same $100 price point, but this time around, it's able to catch a little bit more of our attention thanks to its new redesign. Obviously, the biggest thing that we appreciate about the Super Tooth Disco 2 is the total redesign it's sporting now. Instead of using the same boxy speaker-like design of its predecessor, it has a very modern appearance. It discreetly hides the fact that it is a speaker. That's what makes it very compelling. And it's basically like a piece of art, almost like a vase of some kind, and really does stand out. So in the front right here, you really can't see it's hidden behind the speaker grill, but there are actually two speakers, and when you combine that with the high efficiency bass reflex system in the rear, it essentially produces 16 watts of RMS audio power. Meanwhile, on the back side of the speaker, you have the AC jack, the LED light to indicate it's getting charged, and you also have an auxiliary in so you could wire connect a variety of different devices. And finally, in the top side of the Supertooth Disco 2, you have its six physical buttons, volume down, volume up, track reverse, track forward, pause play, and dedicated power button. They're circular in size, kind of recessed, but they have really nice clicky response, and the backlighting is more than sufficient. In terms of audio quality with the Supertooth Disco 2, we're very pleased by the overall results. Um, even the loudest volume setting maintains a really good amount of clarity, no strain or crackling evident whatsoever, and there's a subtle amount of bass that's accompanied with the uh, output, but when you compare it to its predecessor, the Supertooth Disco from last year, it doesn't hit the same high-pitched tones as before. It's still reasonable enough to uh, light up a decently sized room, but it doesn't have quite the same commanding tones as before. So even though the Supertooth Disco 2 doesn't match its predecessor's overall volume output, we're still pleased by the total package. Uh, with its battery life, it takes approximately 2 hours to fully charge, and you get 15 hours of standby time with that, or roughly 4 hours of continuous usage on the highest volume setting. So it does sacrifice the volume output in place for a really nice modern design that really stands out. It fits in nicely with any living room home theater system, and again, $400, it's not that bad of an offering. So if you'd like to learn more about the Super Tooth Disco 2 guys, you can check our website, phonerena.com. This is John V. As always, thanks for watching.